Hello, in this tutorial I would like to show you how to produce exercises if you're a teacher or an instructor for your specific Hebrew course. Well, first we would need to set up a, a course. We go to the administration uh, tab and there choose classes. Add a new class and let's call that class um, Hebrew introductory course at address.edu. So after I have uh, created that class, I can go to the Manage Exercises um, tab. Here I create a, create a folder and I call it demo address.edu. After I've done so, I can go into that folder and create an exercise. I choose the database, in our case it will be the Hebrew Advanced Database. Um, then you have uh, four different tabs, description, passage, sentence, features. In the description you write what the uh, exercise is about. It's important that you uh, put something here in the description, otherwise the student will not be able to understand what the exercise is about. Um, so let's say we exercise, uh, exercise the anal analysis of verbal stems in Genesis 12. Um, well, then I indeed have to select the correct passage. In my case, I want to run the exercise uh, limit by the text of Genesis 12. So here I then go to Genesis chapter 12. After that is selected, if I would choose everything, then it would generate an exercise that involves all verbal forms uh, that, um, that are available in the Hebrew Old Testament. I continue then to the sentence uh, tab. Mm, well, here it's important that you select the correct level of linguistic analysis that you want them to exercise within. Um, you have the word level, the phrase level, and the clause level that is at your um, at your uh, that is there for your choice. Um, I'm not going to uh, get into uh, all the details, but the most important thing is that each level has its own feature set. So, for example, if I go on phrase, well, the features that are available for the phrase will be different than the features that are available at the word level. Sure, here you have the features type, function, and determination. Type would be you know, verbal phrase, noun phrase, prepositional phrase, um, and so on. Functions would be uh, the phrase function could be subject, predicate, object, complement, adjunct, and things like this. Um, on the clause level, you will again have different uh, uh, types of features. Um, for example, the uh, clause type is it a um, you know verbal clause, a nominal clause, uh, and so on. In our case, we want to produce an exercise about verbal stems, so we select on the word level. The feature stem. Well, here you have a lot of um, sub features that come with the feature stem, uh, and since it's an introductory Hebrew course, I might not want to confuse my students with uh, more exotic uh, stems like uh, Shafel or uh, Pa'al or uh, even the Hishtafel. I only choose those seven stems that are more popular, popular. So I make sure that the student is not presented with a verbal form um, that uh, is different than the selection. And finally, I go to the feature tab and there I choose what information I want them to see and what information I want them to request uh, to, uh, to fill in themselves. Well, for example, I want to show them the text I want to show them even the lexeme, I'm fine with that, and they can also get the translation. Um, but I want them to fill in and analyze the stem. Then I save it. Stems in Gen 12. Okay. Well, before I can run the exercise, I need to grant the user the rights to the course uh, that I have just created. So I go into my administration tab, choose classes, and then here go into my Hebrew introductory course, assign users. 
let's assign these two users. The one is me being a teacher, the one is me being a student. So um, then I go back to my exercises, to my demo at Andrews folder. And here it's important that you edit the visibility. You want to make it visible, you want to make that folder visible for exactly this class, Hebrew Intro Inductory Course. Now I've done that, I can go to the Exercise tab. I see here my class, Demo, and here's my exercise. Let's run that exercise. You see the text is shown, the lexeme is shown, and the English translation of that lexeme is shown, but the stem is requested. Well, in that case, um, we have a simple help form. We check the answer, we are right, we can locate where this uh, verbal form appears. Genesis 12 verse 14. Next. Vayiben uh, from Bana, simple call, and then here again, Ra'aha Nir U. Well, that's a tricky uh, one. So we I have to realize this is a Nifal check answer. Next one. Very hallelu. Um, let's uh, from halal praise. Uh, let's for now. Uh, it, it's a PL form, but let's um, let's choose a wrong stem. Poor. Check answer, and you see um, the information is wrong. I can try other ones. Um, let's say hit pile, check, it's again wrong, and then finally decide probably to show the answer since I'm confused. Okay, um, then here, Vai Sa'af Ram from NASA, um, Kal Haloch, um, also Kal, and so also Kal. Check answer, correct. Next, and then Vaagadala. Uh, well, here we have a peel form, but again, let's uh, make a mistake. Let's say it's a, a hifil form. Check answer, I'm wrong. Check peel, I'm right. Next, and I'm finished. So now I have run this exercise, um, I uh, come, as a teacher, I come to the conclusion that STEM is too simple. I want them to analyze more things. I want them to also analyze person, number, and gender. So I go back to my Manage Exercise tab, um, go into my folder where I have the exercise, and I edit my exercise. Well, now, we're, I'm not only uh, um, analyzing the verbal stems any longer, but also um, the person number and gender that comes with it. Okay, I choose my passage, ring remains the same passage, but now um, uh, it's still on the on the word level. We're still dealing here with with a stem ten state person. Um, I want them to also fill in the person, the gender, and the number. Save the exercise. Just, let's call it stems plus. I go back to my exercise tab, into my folder, and here I have my stems plus. Bad file path. Well, the reason for that is it doesn't accept the plus, so we need to edit this. Rename it. Stamps. Number. Person. Gender. Exercises demo, and here we have our exercise. 
Well, now you see that still the lemma of the Lexeem and the English situation is provided, but you now also have to fill in person, gender, and number uh, in addition to the stem. Hiya, yeah. what is that? Third person, gender, masculine, number, singular, check, next. Um, here we have again our halal in PL, person, third person, gender is masculine and number is plural, check answer, next. Let's now uh, do, your, uh, do a mistake. The, hey, yeah. Um, well, it's a count, but let's say it's not an imperative, it's a third person. Um, and gender, let's uh, do a mistake here too. It's feminine and number, let's say it's plural. Check answer, and indeed I'm wrong on those three levels since it's imperative. I check, show the answer, and it's provided. Next, let's do some random mis wrong analysis. Uh, well, it's actually second person, so it's first, let's say, gender is uh, feminine, um, and number is uh, dual. Um, of course, it's completely wrong. Show answer next and the final one. Um, so let's do a correct analysis here. Third person, um, masculine number, singular, check answers. Finish. Well, this is how you produce exercises, how you store them and make them available to your students. Thank you.